We uh, currently have 670 hotels uh, for, in Premier Inn. Uh, we're actually one of the fastest growing hotel companies in the world. Oh, that's and we're expanding massively into Europe uh, and the Far East. What are you looking for in the young people that you recruit? Because we're so corporate, we can actually teach someone to almost put a plate in front of somebody. Um, or we can teach them how to make a bed or clean a bathroom or to learn the skills of what we have to do on a computer or something like that. But what we find really uh, challenging is that attitude. So if someone's got a real bright personality, that's what we're interested in. How does a young person find out about these jobs? You know, we have our, our own dedicated Premier in Careers Doctor at UK. It gives them a career path, it gives them uh, information on salaries, information on what jobs they can do, uh, what skills, what qualifications they need. Um, so there's loads of information on the, on, on the internet. Do you do anything differently for younger employees who may not have been in work yet? Particularly if we're taking someone from the job centre or school and they haven't worked for a few months, whatever, they do get into a routine, uh, perhaps of not getting out of bed before 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock or even midday. So sometimes that's one of our real challenges. We do give some tolerance to that initially, but it can't go on forever. Would you be able to tell me some good things that you see in an interview? A good interview to me is, uh, you know, someone, I walk up to them, they give me eye contact and they give me a smile. Mm. If they keep their head down and... You know, a very, very shy. I, you know, I understand, you know, I'm a senior manager and a bit older and sometimes it's the first time they've been for an interview. Yeah. But really it's just how that engagement bit. It's really just making the eye contact, looking at each other, because that's what our, our guests want. What advice would you give to young people looking for work? We get candidates that come, have actually gone, gone to visit a Premier Inn because they know they're going to have an interview about Premier Inn. I'm not asking people to stay in hotels, but they could just walk past it, they can go and see where it is. I know that they've shown an interest, a true interest and a real interest in the job. And thank you very much for your time. Okay, no problem. Nice meeting you, Ben. Thank, thank you. you. Would you be able to tell me a bit about yourself? I've done my first and second year at uni. I've come here for a 48 week placement. So on my 48 week placement, I work in all the different departments in the hotel, trying to gain a bit of experience from the hotel and a wider experience to be a manager in the future. How did you get your job? So I looked online at local vacancies for placements. Um, I went on Rick My Placement and Milk Round. Um, I saw the Whitbread application form. The job really stood out to me. So after my application got accepted, I came here, had a one-to-one -one interview with the cluster manager, David Kent. We discussed what I'd like out of the job, what he, he could offer me as well. Um, from there, we went. I started in July, and uh, I'll be finishing this July summer. What does your current job involve? I do three months in each department. I started in the restaurant, so I learnt, I learnt skills on the bar, how to use the tills, how to wait on with guests, learnt the different brand standards. From there I went into the kitchen, I learnt how to cook, I was trained up by chefs in the, in, around the cluster. And then now I'm working on reception, I've been on reception for about a month now, and after I finish on reception I'll be going into housekeeping. Alongside working in these departments, I've been given different projects that relate to university and hopefully build my skills to become a great manager in the future. Do you get any support or training at your job? Yeah, I've had a lot of support in my job. So my hotel manager, Jenny, and my restaurant manager, Emma, um, they're always alongside me when I'm working. So I work a lot of the time at this side. But when I work around the cluster as well, I've gained a lot of contacts. So I never hesitate to contact any of the managers. And there's a lot of support and training and courses which I've been on to help me broaden my experience here. What ideas do you have about your future? I've been looking at the graduate scheme which Whitbread offer, alongside the roles at the head office. So I've been looking at um, the commercial side of things and sale, along with um, marketing, the marketing side, so working on big projects, bringing them down from head office, having a lot of respons responsibility. Alongside with the graduate scheme, which is a bit different, but it also accompanies my experience and my placement here. So working with teams, bringing my experience from placement and hopefully having a great hotel in the future. Thank you very much for your time. No problem. Be able to tell me a bit about yourself and your role at the company. I'm Paige, I'm 18, I live in Leeds, I'm currently working at Premier Inn. I'm an FB team member, which is, means food and beverage. How did you get your job? I was in a job at a nursery to start with and it didn't really suit me that well, so I went to Youth Contract Centre and I met Dave Ken and Jenny Miller, which are the managers of this cluster. And we kind of hit off, and then I sent my email, and they got back to an interview, which we held here, and they took it from there, and they liked me. So happy days! <laughs> what does your current job involve? 
it involves make sure the guests have a great stay and make sure they get great food and make sure they kind of feel like a part of like a little family here that's what our aim for us to do and also make sure we get food out on time make sure everything's okay within the hotel that's and make sure also the team members within our group is also okay do you get any support or training at your job to be honest, our support and training was within the group. Um, my team members also helped me and supported me all the way by training me. And we had our managers. They supported me, giving me great feedback and make sure there were targets set and give me new challenges, which were also great. What ideas do you have about your future? Um, hopefully, I want to become a management of my own hospitality team. Um, so hopefully my apprenticeship that I'm doing here works out and I'll become a manager someday. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.